before you life and death. I set before you blessing and cursing. I advise you, choose life. To choose life means to verbalize it by faith, knowing that this our world is voice activated. To choose life means to obtain grace to walk in keeping with the, the behavioral patterns that are pro-life. Choose life. Number two, he says, honor your father and your mother in the Lord that your days may be long and it shall be well with you. I respectfully submit to you, dear people in Asaba and following online, that I can tell you why many young people do not have it well with them. Because this honor has become a trend and it has become fashionable in our world. The moment you are educated and enlightened, we think it is masculinity and maturity to practice this honor. Is the reason why it is not well with many, many young people. Surrounded by atmospheres that should provide all kinds of privileges. And yet doors remain closed. That it may be well with you. You don't want to live long in a miserable life. You want to live long and also that it is well with you. Are we together? The third key that activates long life is the covenant of service. I shall not die live and declare the works of the Lord. That means if your life is not actively being part of kingdom come, there is no basis for your longevity. Your longevity is justified by how, how, how you, the participatory role that you have to play as far as kingdom come is concerned. That means my service in the house of God is my immunity against untimely death. I can prolong my life by engaging in service with understanding oh this is powerful I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about I lay me down and I slept I wait for the Lord sustain but thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, you lift my head. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. The anointing of the Holy Spirit has laws. People do not just become anointed. It takes more than the laying on of hands. It takes more than pouring oil. Oil can come on you and just come as an extract from plants and not provide anything. Oil does not anoint except it is anointed by an anointed vessel. God does not store his anointing in oil. He stores it in men. It is by the privilege of operating scripture that those men now hold the oil. It is that contact that transfers it there. Listen, many of us desire to walk in superior dimensions of the anointing from I have found David my servant and with my holy oil have I anointed him is that true and then he now begins to say all the things that he does by the anointing Isaiah 61 the messianic prophecy the spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach glad tidings to the meek he had sent me to bind up the broken hearted to deliver the ones in prison and so on and so forth it is by the anointing. And I believe that in this conference, there are many of you who have come with your hearts hungry and your hearts open. There are many of you, your families are depending on these graces. There are many of you, your jobs are depending on these graces. I want you to open your heart because this is what it takes to reign in life. There are many who are in need of wisdom. Wisdom is powerful. The Bible says... 
get wisdom, he says get understanding. He says wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, in all you're getting, he says, get wisdom and then get understanding in all you're getting. Exalt her and she shall promote you. That she shall put an ornament of glory upon your head when thou dost embrace her. He said, does not wisdom cry? Wisdom personified speaking said, by me kings reign and princes decree justice. He says, with me are riches, wealth and honor, yea, durable riches and righteousness. It was on account of the wisdom of God upon the life of Job in chapter 29. Job said, all that I remember in the days of my youth, when the candle of the Lord was upon my head and when by his light, you see, there were two candles, the one on his head and the one directing his path. Illumination and direction. And it produced a man of exploit. Someone shout wisdom. Please shout it again, say wisdom. We need to access the wisdom of God. There is a relationship between wisdom and mighty works. Wisdom and results. Wisdom and results. I will give you a mouthpiece and a wisdom that no man will, your enemies will not be able to gainsay nor resist. When they saw the exploits of Jesus, they were astonished and they said, what wisdom is this? How about financial prosperity? There are many of us that need to walk in financial dominion. We desire to do it for the sake of his majesty. We desire to do it for the sake of our upkeep. God is not against your excelling in life. Whilst we do not love and seek him because of things, but he has so graciously provided it in his dealings with men that in seeking him, we are not left hungry. In seeking him, we find every other thing that supports our seeking him. And so here's how it puts it. It says, I wish above all things that he prosper and then be in health, but beware. Let it be for being blessed. In fact, God hates empty handedness. Ye shall not go empty. Emptiness has an explanation. It is proof that the favor of God is not on your life. The proof of favor is really in your life. How about faith? Faith is a law. The Bible four times in scripture says the just shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith. And then it says that this faith comes by two levels of hearing. The hearing that brings awareness and the hearing that brings understanding. The just shall live by faith. So if you do not build your faith, there are many things you will not be able to get. You want to see God as a rewarder, you need faith. Hebrews 11 and verse 6. For he that cometh unto God, unto him must believe. First that God exists, he is. And then number two, that on account of your faith, he has now become for you the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. All of these principles that I shared with you touching across different areas. These are the truths. They are called... It. it is because he desires that that word gets to Israel. The days of superstar Christianity has come to an end. It is not just one man celebrity. God is looking for men and women who can open up their heart and pour into people who are interested in learning. The Bible says that in the latter times, men will not endure sound doctrine. It takes endurance. Most believers are not willing to sit down and learn. Africa sadly has an expression of superstitious Christianity. Just because of spirituality, we want and hope that things will just manufacture themselves into breakthrough. It doesn't last that way. When you rise up through the, it must be by revelation. He says, he that strives for mastery, he is not crowned unless and except he strives lawfully. You must be able to defend your result by the dexterity of your spiritual knowledge. So when people doubt your result, let the opening of your lips be a defense to what God is doing in your life. That it is true, people can see 